These swords are of those who lost their way. On guard! You're in need of polish! Touchdown! Blue Gang Raid! What? Very well! Initiating process! How shall we play? Yes. No. Got you! Asking for it! No. Releasing output limiter! <laughs> I shall! I'm on the case! <laughs> Hello, anybody home? So that's who I got! No! no! Too late! No. Ready? Time to settle this! They're down! No! I'm sorry, Bess. My reign is as the blade cuts. He goes! I said I'd keep her safe. All right. You insist. Time to entertain my guests. Round and round. Up you go. Time for the main event. <laughs> what a delightful tea party. I'll take care of it. How shall we play? Yes! This is absurd! How could I... <laughs> I saw that coming. I saw everything coming. But of course. Even perfection. <laughs> that ch <laughs> it's only natural. I cannot. Not here. I will not allow it. Did we win? Yeah. I didn't expect him to be a machine. Do you think the Supreme Leader is one, too? Well, Rufus? Who knows? I can only at most confirm I have no long-lost twin. Or some such thing. Still, some machine, huh? None of the Professor's humanoid toys hold a candle to this one. Must you be so critical of my work? No, it's not. Probably. Did you watch then? Enjoy the show? How could I resist the urge? And it was so very fascinating, thank you. Still, if I might offer a rebuttal to your comment, the toys you mentioned were only meant to be that. Toys. Had I poured my heart into them, I could have fashioned something with a little more... flair. I confess, however, that a replica of his caliber is beyond my creative expertise. Not that I find it regrettable. I don't see any point in creating one in the first place. Hmm. We're dealing with technology even the Professor can't replicate? Then... Would you be Professor F. Novartis, supervisor of the 13 factories? Oh, forgive me. 
have I not introduced myself? You're right, of course. If you don't mind my adding that uh, I am also the sixth Anguis. Oh, I do wish we could have met earlier, but alas, the chance never presented itself during the great twilight. <laughs> Indeed. Although I much appreciated your technical support at the time. I feel like I'm going to be arrested just for listening to this. We might be better off not getting buddy-buddy with him. No one ever is. <laughs> it is funny though, isn't it? First I aided you, and now I am aiding the other you. I hope you're not claiming to be the mastermind behind the Supreme Leader in Crossbell. You aren't, are you? Oh, don't be silly. I have shared my technical know-how, but the rest is out of my hands. Even if I were to help, the result would be the same. They just have to put a little less back into it, thanks to my assistance. Was your assistance in exchange for benefiting the Society's schemes in some manner? Oh, no, no, not at all. Our hand in Crossbell and Erebonia largely ended with the conclusion of the rivalries. This is me acting out of intellectual curiosity. The Grand Master has no part in this. You just do what you want, don't you? Although, I can't really talk. The heart wants what it wants, right? Oh, <laughs> indeed. And you couldn't blame me with this one. I never expected someone's preferred method of contacting me to be through reverse engineering the astral code. What? How is that possible? And now you understand why I couldn't pass up this opportunity. I agreed to help for the best seat to what has yet to unfold. To summarize your position, Professor, your alignment with my replica is for personal reasons, and you have no intention of doing us harm on his behalf. Is that correct? Very succinct. I wouldn't want to interfere too much and distort the results of this experiment. Then, it seems we have no problems. So, Professor, you've piqued my interest. Won't you tell us an itsy-bitsy more about what has you so fascinated? I'd simply love to know. Why, gladly! It's been a long time since something's excited me this much! Though not unlike a singularity at present, it's what comes later that will... Ah, how careless of me. As much as I'd love to elucidate, I think I've already said too much. Oh, what a shame. Now then, I think it's time I wrap this up. Oh, uh, but what you're looking for just so happens to be on the other side of those doors. Uh, seeing as I'm looking after Meister Rosenberg's studio in his absence, I would be a poor sport if I didn't point you in the right direction. Did he ask you to look after all these renovations you made, too? <laughs> Until another day. I'm very eager to see your future accomplishments. So on the other side is... <laughs> Let's go. This place. Are your memories starting to come back? Not quite. I don't remember being here. I just know this place. Maybe this is where you were made. So here's where our LP was born, huh? I suppose if we're going to find the data we seek anywhere, it will be. I've never seen machines like this in my life. Yeah. I don't have the first clue on how to operate this stuff. Don't worry. You have me. If the data we want is still here, I'll restore it for us. Though to do that... Have you made up your mind? Yes. I'm ready. No matter what we find, it won't change who I am, right? You'll find me no matter what happens. That I will. Mind getting ready for me? All right.
There we go. Done. How are you feeling? You didn't forget us or anything, did you? I haven't. I feel fine, and I remember you just fine. Phew. But hardly any of my memories have returned. Did we just waste our time coming here then? Oh, it wasn't a waste. My memory bank is inside of me, but it's been locked. And I know the key to unlocking it. We just need to go and see someone called Ian, and then I'll be able to remember everything. Ian? Do I know any Ians? <laughs> if that's what we need to do, then our next destination is set. <laughs>